Hi, welcome to Leap Taken. This is Mika, and here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things witchy, law of attraction, manifesting, esoteric, and everything else in between. And um, today, I just kind of want to explore the topic of being a bougie witch, a bougie witch. So, all right, what does that even mean, right? <laughs> a stuck-up witch? Yeah, maybe. Um, are you too judgy? Are you you know, saying you're discerning, but you're really um, exclusive instead of inclusive to other forms of magic or people who practice different types of magic styles than you. Do you kind of, you know, have your nose up in the air to that? Maybe not in their face, but, you know, throughout social media platforms or just some a way you think where you think that maybe um, whatever you're doing is better than everybody else. Um, I don't think I am that way <laughs> I don't I'm sort of kind of open and I don't mind um, understanding other people's walks and how they do things it doesn't mean that I have to adopt it. it doesn't mean I even have to you know find it relevant to me but it's relevant to them and uh, I'm just a curious person especially when it comes to this type of work uh, witchcraft so I'm, I'm a little bit more open to you know just peeking in a little bit to see how other people do things um, if it's something I think is worthy of me learning and, and exploring a little little bit further, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. But otherwise, you know, it's it was an experience and I move on. <laughs> um, but I think the problem is if you're finding that you're kind of like staunchly against um, certain types of magic or, you know, or people, the way they come across, you know, as witches, um, you know what you identify I know for me I guess if I was to say I probably I do give sideways glances at people who kind of try to combine you know um, Judeo-Christian type faiths and witchcraft um, I side-eye them I wouldn't say I was bougie because of it or that I mean I'm bougie anyway but I don't know if that would be making me a bougie witch it's just more the ideology is just in conflict to me so you know I mind my business I don't say anything I don't go walking around trying to tell people you know what they can and can't do you know I'm going comments correcting them I don't do it in virtual or real world um, I don't think that's my position in life to do that and hopefully you don't think it's yours either then you might be a, a little stuck up witch you need to stop <laughs> now I'm not telling you what you need to do because that might be kind of bougie right but anyway um, the thing about witchcraft is I don't think it's either light or dark I don't think you can practice black magic or light ma or whatever I mean you can but I, and this is fear people have um, might make them a bougie witch you know fear of Ooh, I, I stay away from the black magic. I just can't deal with the karma. And it's like, well, first off, you don't know what you're talking about. You want to say that. And sometimes I have said that because uh, I can't contain myself. That's the true Aries coming out where it's like, I see so much wrong. I got to correct. I got to say, so I can't let that go. Um, you know, like, you know, you might, or I, I would say something to the effect of, you know, you might want to look at this a little differently because it's not really like that or something, you know, like that. I'll be nicer instead of just saying you're wrong. Uh, but no, light, dark magic, being afraid to practice dark magic. Um, and then those who practice what's light magic and others get on them for ba basically being, you know, um, not really invested in witchcraft because they're trying to exclude one thing. Well, I could say the same for people who think they're practicing just dark magic. And I would say, well, you're kind of, you know, out of balance. Basically, it's all about balance. So that falls into the lines of if you practice baneful type magic and all that sort of stuff. If you do, you do. Protect yourself, you know, um, have a plan in place with your spells, rituals, cleansing. Like, if you're doing that, I would hope that you have a, a, a whole ritual. You have, like, serious rituals with an S in place to always be cleansing, always... Um, you know, staying in line, alignment and grounded and having a, a full connection with your spirits or whatever deity you're working with, deities you're working with, um, so that you're always in a place of, you know, grounded and balanced as best as you can uh, if you're doing, you know, more baneful type magic. It can be done and there, you know, people can uh, do two things at once. You know, you, you can do that and still you know, be in a mindset of, I'm, I'm going to, you know, be a healer and heal these people. We have, you know, um, 
different types of uh, tools that we can use to, to have both things, you can have more than one spell going at the same time. One could be for healing, one could be for disruption. It's possible, it is possible. Uh, what I think is where the bougie part comes in, if you're constantly um, having this reaction to either magics, if you wanna separate it, I think balance is in order and, and you know maybe you might wanna do some shadow work. <laughs> to get to the bottom of why you're so afraid to go in either direction. Um, are you just believing what people say? And either way, are you believing that if you, you know, practice uh, what's considered the light magic, you know, or healing magic, that sort of stuff, you know, you're less of a witch or you're not as powerful and in the opposite direction, are you afraid that, um, you know, you have some sort of karma that you'll have to you know deal with or you know something the threefold law you know and if so have you ever experienced that have you, do you know anyone who did experience the threefold law you know working for them when you know um they did something and you know it was supposed to come back to them three times did you ever witness that do you know what that would be like um is that a consequence you're even willing to deal with knowing it if you believe in it you know um and examine that a little bit talk maybe talk to other witches read up about it if that's something that's holding you back. I'm not trying to convince people to go in either direction. Um, I'm just saying balance is, is, is key. Sometimes things happen to us um, and it's reactionary. Uh, I mean, that's why you should be protecting yourself, but sometimes things happen, you know? And I don't see anything wrong with, you know, having a balance of having all types of magic in your arsenal. That's just me. Uh, the other thing is, and I have a little notes here, this is just a quick video on the subject because I just, I, you know, I read things, I see things, and it gets me thinking about this, these different topics. So, like, you know, I'm thinking, what's a bougie witch? What would that even look like? Um, so, different styles, different types of styles, uh, witchy styles, witchcraft, how you see it done. Um, not just paths you're taking, hoodoo, voodoo, all that sort of stuff, but, uh, witchy styles some people you know they may do every time they do a ritual or any sort of working they post a picture on instagram where other people won't even let you see their altar <laughs> you know they'll never post it. and they, they have a social media presence but they will never share their altar or anything for that matter maybe one candle with a black background that's about it uh, are you the type of person to, you know, what, what's your stance on that? And we're all open, you know, allowed to have an opinion on it. I think what crosses from opinion to bougie <laughs> or, you know, is kind of um, almost, you know, having a, a negative reaction to that. Like, oh, they shouldn't be doing that. I don't know. Be careful with the shouldn't be's. I don't know. I find that in any subject matter when you're saying they or she or he shouldn't be doing something typically you're kind of being a little judgy so the shoulds and shouldn'ts maybe you want to stay away from that if possible i think people could do what the heck they want to do if they want to post it that's fine the opinion part will come in and say hmm i don't think i would do that i don't i don't think i think that might weaken you know my spell if, if i expose it you know while it's still working i could take pictures tell you the results after i got what i wanted but i don't know if i would do that you know on a live spell that i'm actually working on so that's an opinion, you know, telling somebody what they shouldn't, not so much. <laughs> um, ultimately, this whole thing got me just thinking about how you just need to be comfortable being the type of witch you are. Um, whatever witchcraft, type of witchcraft you're practicing or paganism that you're currently, you know, whatever path you're on right now, just be comfortable just get into it just relax into it really you know get comfortable if everything is all you see everything is is more in a darker realm and i'm using that in quotes darker you know uh the way you see things listen creation was made in the darkness all creation is made in darkness so guess what that's fine um if that's what it is that's what it is for you i think we all have different abilities um and we bring different talents to this year to this world to the universe so so be it, you know, some of us are probably gonna lean more toward one end of the spectrum than the other. That is perfectly fine. There's no reason to um, judge anybody else if, if they're 
you know, leaning more light or more dark. I don't know, that part I think bugs me the most, you know, this idea that um, I saw a post. This is what got me speaking about the light and the dark end of the spectrum. Um, they, it, it, somebody was saying, oh, we're doing a collaboration or something it was. It, it was a benign um, Instagram post of a, one person who practices magic said they were gonna have a um, live session or something, video session with another person. And it's none of that light and love magic here. We're into the real magic. First of all, love is very powerful. Um, people do all types of things in the name of love, genuine love. You know, think of what people, think of what you will do for your children in the name of love. Think of what you do for your husband, your spouse, whatever, you know, your mother, siblings. People go to jail, you know, disrupt their whole lives. People kill in the name of love. So, um, I think um, we need to kind of come off of that light and love, hate and bashing of that. It's all about balance. There's, there's room, you know, sometimes your magic is going to be more over here and, and more over here and maybe a little bit in the middle, more neutral. You know, it's, it's, that's, I mean, that's, are you all the, one way all the time? Do you express yourself in one emotion all the time? No. And um, your craft will eventually be a reflection of, it should be a reflection of you and your emotions and where you're standing and if you're hurt because you love someone and they hurt you, or you put your trust out there in the name of love or whatever, and they hurt you, and you want to do a revenge spell, do not think that won't be powerful because you're hurting versus, I don't know, mad? I mean, it's hurt. You're sad. You're weepy. That is still a strong emotion. And if you pour that into that spell, depending on what you're trying to do, to get back to somebody who intentionally hurt you um, because they're a psychopath or they're mean and they're horrible, I don't know, you know, whatever the situation is, uh, I, I wouldn't discount that as, oh, it's just light and love and it's not real magic. Say that to the people who are seriously out here, you know, first of all, if that's the case, love spells. I would not want to have someone who uh, thought light and love was not real magic working a love spell for me. And I know this, these people work in that realm, you know, uh, judging by what I see on their Instagram posts. There's just this hate toward love, even in the witchy community. Everything is not light and love. We, I think we can agree on that. But everything isn't that is light and love. What is light and love is not necessarily not magical. You see what I'm saying? Hopefully you get what I'm saying. Uh, that's just my tangent I'm going on because that for some reason just gets, uh, it just, it, it kind of just bugs me a little bit because it discourages people who maybe are just beginning or they've been in, at it for a while and they've never felt a reason, you know, to do anything baneful, you know. Uh, they, they've just been going along. They might do money spells, maybe a love, love spell here and their attraction spell, uh, spell to find something promotion jobs that you know success spells uh maybe some healing spells things like that those are great you know if you've been doing this for a little bit of time and you have some success with that that's great you know and if the time comes if it doesn't even have to be you um in my case when i did do a um a hex on someone it wasn't it wasn't on someone it was on someone several people but at the time it wasn't even for me it was for someone i knew so uh, and it was effective, so yeah, it was actually very effective. So I say all that because, it, and here's the thing, that's still most likely in the name of love because most likely if it's somebody you care about and you love, you know, regardless of the situation, it could be a cousin, a friend, you know, whatever, um, you love this person and, and they've been hurt, wrongfully hurt, you know, physically or whatever, you know, emotionally, especially if it's physical. Um, that's going to bring out an emotion in you, your kids, and somebody's doing something to them. And, you know, there's nothing else you can do about it. Um, as far as in the mundane world, you've done all you can do, but this person is still torturing your child or somebody you love. Yeah, I don't know how you wouldn't want to do some kind of magic on them. Um, if you have the ability, right? Why wouldn't you want to?
why wouldn't you want to try? Not try, you try. I don't say try because if you're trying, it might not work out. Do the magic <laughs> that um, will get that to stop and possibly even punish the person. I'm not telling you to kill people, but you know, some people might need to be put in, um, in, in, in a place where they're not um, torturing, you know, someone you love or anyone else for that matter. So you could do a spell accordingly to address that. So, bougie witch. I think I went through this thinking about this. I don't think I'm a bougie witch. I'm a bougie lady, but I'm not a bougie witch. I am open, uh, probably one of the least judgmental people. I'm, I'm really genuinely interested in other people's uh, magic and how they practice it. I, that's why I follow so many different pages where I see other people and they do post pictures. And although I'm someone who probably would never post um everything that I'm working on, maybe some things, but not too many things, um, because it's all about energy and even in a photograph, I just wouldn't want to, to jinx it. Yeah, I believe in jinxes. I wouldn't want to jinx it. So it would be something I would do after the fact, but probably something like a full moon ritual, you know, um, new moon ritual or any sort of thing like that, or some sort of holiday, uh, type celebration. I think, yeah, I would post that. I think that would be fine. Outside of that, no. Anything too nitty gritty, no. <laughs> I wouldn't post it. I would. Um, I believe in uh, moving in silence for, with that sort of stuff, and and then afterwards you show it. So, and I do that not in case it doesn't work, and you have egg on your face, or you don't look like a legit witch. I do that because I truly believe that other people might not wish you very well. I mean, you don't even have to be practicing magic and come across people like that. Um, I've had experiences where I have posted things, aspects of my life, and people, in, you know, backhanded compliments. Um, this has happened to friends of mine, too. Of course, in the social media world, this happens. And they don't wish you well. <laughs> they don't wish you well. You know, you look like you're doing great. Um, they don't like that. Some people don't like it. They can't help but look and comment, but they don't like it. So, But that's all I have as far as the subject of being a bougie witch. I've answered the question. No, I'm not. I'm open, curious, and non-judgmental as far as witchcraft goes. And um, if you're fitting some of the descriptions I was talking about as far as not opinionated, you crossed over to maybe being uh, more exclusive and um, more judgy. You know, maybe chill a little bit and um, just kind of remember when you first started or if you just started and you're already turning your nose up at a lot of um, the different witchcraft that you might see or different practices you see, um, just you don't have a little patience uh, with yourself and with everybody else because you have no idea what ride you might be on. Um, you don't know where you might be a year from now or two years from now, um, where you might find that you might have more in common with the people that you're turning your nose up to and the type of magics they're doing. Doesn't mean you're gonna follow that path exactly, but the reason, you know, your reaction might be for a different reason. Maybe you're actually low-key attracted to that and it scares you. But thank you for watching. This is Nika, your Elite Taken. Please like the video and if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks.